Exponential functions. So exponential functions are functions which have variable on the exponent position. In general form, I can write function of x equals to a to the x. As you can see here, x is the exponent. A is the basis, and this is the function sometimes we represent using fx, sometimes we use y. A should be positive, because if we have here negative number, when the exponent is even, will be positive and the exponent is up, it will be negative. And we get periodic function, which is not exponential function. Positive number. Let's try one simple example to familiarize ourselves with this type of function. For example, y equals to 2 to the x. Let's graph x, y. Using the simplest method, table of value, x and y values. So when x zero, for example, y will be one. This is the first point. 0, 0,1, which is uh, like a mandatory point, because any number to the 0 power is 1. So point 0, 0,1 always exists. It's another property. Let's continue in this side. When x1, 2 to the 1, 2. 1, 2. Here, the second point, 1, 2. When x2 will be 4, 2 to the second power. When x3, 2 to the third power, 8. Now let's check when x is minus 1. If I use here minus 1, y equals 2 to minus 1, this is equal to 1 over 2 to the first power, 1 half. One half. When minus one. So in minus one, one half. And in minus two will be a quarter. One over four. Because y equals two to minus two is one over two squared, which is one over four. So in minus 2, 1 over 4. Now I can graph the exponential function. I need this space in order to continue our work. As you can see, this 0, 1 always exist. Let's see another example. Let's check 
What happens if I, if I try to graph, for example, y equals to one half to the x? So I am considering now that a is greater than 0, but less than 1. Let's check what happened in that interval. So I can solve the problem. I can graph this function using the same method, table of value. For example, when x 0, you know, 1. I have here the first point. When x1 will be 1 half, will be somewhere here. When x2, 1 half square, will be 1 over 4, somewhere here. When using negative 1, y equals to 1 half 2 minus 1, you know, use the reciprocal, 2 to the 1, you switch. So now we are in 2. In minus 1, we get 2. Equivalently, in minus 2, we get 4. In minus 2, we get 4. And as you can see, my graph goes by this. So it's very interesting. For A, in that interval between 0 and 1, the function goes off on the left side. In that interval greater than 1, function goes up on the right side. But we can solve this problem using transformation will be notably simplest. And this is what we have to learn today. Let's see what is happening one more time. I will use this space. I will write here. y equals half to the x. Can be written as 1 to the x divided by 2 to the x, which is equal to 1 over 2 to the x. 1 to any power is 1, which is equal to 2 to minus x. Very interesting. It's the same equation we had before at the beginning, but using negative x. Let's check before part. Let's check what we did before. Here we have original some rod function. And using blue color, using blue color, we have the new 2 to minus x. So really what I am doing is reflecting positive x into negative. So 2 comma 4, now I have minus 2 comma 4. 1 comma 2, now I have minus 1 comma 2, etc, etc. Reflection towards axis y, because I am replacing x with minus x. So you have to, to manage exponential equation. Looking to the coefficient, you will take the decision how to rewrite it in order to facilitate graphing procedure.